Ranking the best free safeties in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're going to be updating free safety. Number four, do go ahead and re-rank the old cards and rank the new cards. I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. Now, let's take a look at the old tier list real quick. And the first thing that I'm going to do is drop Kevin Byer from S+. Um, pick artist and acro for me, really. Like, is it as a user? Yeah, I could see it. But especially with the card we do have to cover today, he for sure is not S+, plus anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop every single person down a tier, especially the people from s besides the people that have zero ap ko's and this is what the tier list is looking like for me logan ryan i could see a really the only reason i think people would put him a is because he's not a big name he gets zero ap mid zone now the first card we have today is trey lance trey lance is so good six foot four height could be up to 98 speed good acceleration good agility and pretty good play rec as well with 95 95 man 92 zone has some decent i don't want to say decent like block shed impact blocking honestly it's kind of bad and for traits what we're looking for we're looking for play ball on air aggressive he doesn't get that but what he does get is some really interesting abilities so whether you want to run man zone or want to be good against the aka x factors this card is just great he's zero ap deep route ko which if we click on this right you're going to notice that the majority of people that get this are all cbs right like say we filter by free safety the position we're covering today we have a card we'll cover later trey lance and a card that we, we have already covered in a previous year list chat now mid zone is a little bit more common for free safeties but that six foot four height is and finally the tackle supreme is what i think is really like unique about him like this time you'll notice there's a lot of like defensive linemen like if we go ahead and filter by for just safety in general right if we just filter by safety in general it's trey lance and a card that you can't get anymore that was a thanksgiving card that really isn't that great anyway so yeah for me trey lance no matter how you want to use him is for sure s tier i would put him like probably right here and i would say chad is better than kevin byer too right now but i'm super high on this trey lance card i think he is one of the best sub linebackers in the game whether you want him to play man whether you want him to play zone whether you want to run hybrid he is just so versatile he is on all my teams and again that's one of the highest endorsements i can give someone and right after that we get glover quinn uh glover quinn you can get this card for free and he can be up to 99 speed 93 play rec tad bit low especially with the cards we are going to cover but good zone good man has actually really great block shed as well but i wouldn't recommend playing this card in the box i think he's better over the top especially when we cover his abilities now for traits he doesn't have big hitter on yes and play ball and air balance but he does get every single team chem and also what i think is great about him deep out zone ko for zero so for me recently i've actually switched to a lot of zone coverage i run deep out zone ko and mid zone on him and he plays great glover quinn zero ap ko defender um he is gonna go ahead and be s tier for me as well now what i might really do is drop the a tier people down because we are going to be covering a lot of zero ap ko's today and right after that we get out of position larry fitzgerald free safety this card is six foot three can be up to 99 speed 91 play rec good man good zone as well with pretty good block shit impact blocking as well traits this time does not have play ball on air aggressive but does have the big hitter trait on yes and this time for his abilities he's zero ap mid zone zero ap deep out zone ko so he's a zero ap KO defender um not a bad user by any means honestly something you can do too if you haven't tried it at all putting mid zone on your user and as long as you're sending like four every play it really won't affect the pass rush so you don't need to put like your user in a blitz and just keeping him in like a hook curl a vert hook you could get some crazy KOs with that for me it's tough because I feel like yeah I'm gonna do it we're going to uh drop some people down even further I did a little bit of moving around and you might be like Dill why did you do this um um, for me, for me, the people in A tier, I just think there are better cards that do what they do just better. Like for me, I think Chad does what Glover Quinn does just better. Kevin Byers gonna have someone that does what he does just better later. And Logan Ryan, Larry Fitzgerald, I think Justin Simmons is better than both of those cards as well. And right after that, we get Adrian Phillips. So he starts out at a 92. If we show max upgrades, you're gonna see he can be 99 speed, has really good uh, physical stats across the board. Great play rec with 96, perfect man, perfect zone, great block shed, and he does have play ball in air aggressive. For abilities this time, deep out zone KO for zero. So again, if I was running zone, deep out zone KO, mid zone for one AP. Uh, I think he is, he is better than Glover Quinn it's a tough one for me I don't want to say he's in a weird spot I think he is S tier like it's really hard to get that much better like he has good play rec he has play ball and air aggressive he 
quite literally has almost everything I'm looking for. Now we have Ed Reed. So Ed Reed's previous card, this, uh, he had like a 96. Yeah, this uh, field pass card kind of made me a believer that height really, like on offense, I think it's really important. On defense, I really don't. Ed Reed with just crazy good physical stats. 99 play rec is amazing. Five foot 11 is the one thing that people might not like, but he has amazing block shit, impact blocking, man zone. Literally all his stats are amazing. And he has big hitter and play ball and air aggressive. So in my opinion, going to play really, really nice. Now for his abilities, deep out zone KO, deep route KO, mid zone, all for zero. I think he's really, really valuable, whether you want to run man with like deep route KO, or if you want to run hybrid, like deep out, deep route. Like I just think overall, he's extremely versatile. There is like no doubt about it for me. I am going to go ahead and put him S tier. Him first Trey Lance is really, really tough for me. Uh, Trey Lance with the tackle Supreme. That's why he's still here. I think Ed Reed overall though, will play better than Trey Lance. And right after that, we get Juan Thornhill. So Juan Thornhill is going to only be 98 speed, which is the major thing that sucks, but he has great play, right? Great zone. And he gets zero AP deep out zone, KO one AP mid zone. For me, just not being 99 speed is the one thing that is bad about the card, but has amazing play rec. I really don't know where to put him in this tier, but I'd probably put him like right there. And right after that, we get Xavier McKinney. So Xavier McKinney, again, can be up to 99 speed. Play rec, slightly lower six foot height. And again, deep out zone KO mid zone for one AP total. So I think Xavier McKinney is another great free safety. Uh, can be argued S tier. I won't say you're wrong, but I'm gonna go ahead and put him A tier. I don't really see much of a difference between him and Glover Quinn. And for the last card of the video, we got Julius Peppers right here. So Julius Peppers, six foot seven, 295, can be up to 99 speed any single team. Play good the man the zone is all great block shed impact blocking all amazing and for abilities uh i hate that he gets pick artist and acro for zero if he would have got just imagine he gets deep out zone ko and mid zone for zero ap he's by far like the best coverage player in the game but now i don't want to make this sound like he's bad he's the best user in the game and obviously like i was saying julius pepper's best user in the game something else i like to look at though uh he's an out of position card what was his other position left in so what i like to look at is when we go to like upgrade right here and show all ratings the other role that i think he could really like strive in is if you're someone that audibles from 3-3 normal to like 3-3 cub and you occasionally like send five or like you send four he has 99 for Nest moves and 81 power moves so this is another way i think you can take advantage of the card now do i think he's a great coverage player again probably no he is the best user in the game 100 percent don't even think it's close and that value for me he is like right up here i don't think he's the best coverage player in the game i don't love his abilities for coverage but again, I think he is the best user in the game. So he's going to be top in the best for me. Now we did get one more reveal for Ultimate Legends. We got Ultimate Legend Ronnie Lott. Now Ronnie Lott is absolutely amazing. He's going to be 99 speed, 99 acceleration, of course. And also man zone, play rec all look fine. He's going to be someone with the big hitter trade on yes. But here's what makes Ronnie Lott special. He is another zero AP inside shade player. And if you do want to run zone with him, you can. But I think his main value, in my opinion, is the fact that he gets zero AP inside shade. So now in total, you have four zero ap inside shade defenders he is up there with the best man coverage defenders in the game for me ronnie lot if you run man coverage uh he's S he's by far and away the best one in the game and yeah honestly i low-key kind of want to make an s plus for ronnie lot but yeah y'all this has been my updated free safety tier list let me know your thoughts down below in the comments let me know what you agree with what you disagree with as you can tell from this tier list really valuing the zero ap ko people it kind of sucks like sean t kind of got a card or like eric berry and sean t really got cards at bad points in the year i really hope sean t will get a 99 overall card and i'm not saying sean taylor's not like usable right now but in order for him to be like what i think sean taylor cards usually are he would get it he would need a zero ap ko so hopefully we see a 99 overall sean taylor that is s tier but i hope y'all did enjoy this video man if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the best cards in madden 23 now if you want to see me use some of these cards live check the links in the description hit that twitch with a follow we have been grinding the streams over there so i would greatly appreciate that now if you don't feel like heading over to twitch and you want another video to watch check this one out right here jalen ramsey on a dolphin steam team is absolutely insane